You're welcome to PSLE Max. Let's look at a question from Nanhua Primary School. This is question number 12 from 2019 essay one paper. Mr. Ng bought 208 t-shirts and shorts altogether. He paid a total of $3,050. Each t-shirt cost $14 and each pair of shorts cost $20. Part A of the question is how many t-shirts did Mr. Ng buy? And part B is how many pairs of shorts did Mr. Ng buy? So this question we would be doing using assumption method. So as we do, I would explain the assumption method and I would also connect it to the good old guess and check method so that you make the correlation. So how do you identify if a question is to be done using assumption method here? We see the total number of t-shirts and shorts put together, which is 208 is given. And the total money that he paid is $3,050 for both the t-shirts and the shorts together is also given. And the each cost of t-shirt and the shorts is given. So this kind of questions where we have to individually find the number of t-shirts and the number of shorts, which we can usually do using guess and check method can be done using assumption method. In assumption method, we first assume everything that he buys is just the t-shirt or just the shorts. Here, I'm going to assume that all the 208 items that he bought are only shorts, which means 208 shorts and zero t-shirts. So if he had really bought 208 shorts, each of the shots costing $20, he would have paid a total of 208 times $20 is equal to $4,160. But we know that the actual money that he paid is only $3,050, which means this number that we have calculated is $1,110 more than what he actually paid. Now let's replace one shorts with one t-shirt, which means the total cost of the shorts goes down by $20 because each shorts is $20 and the t-shirt cost increases by $14 because each t-shirt is $14. Now the total number of items remain 208, which is 207 shorts and one t-shirt and the total cost is $4,140 for the 207 shorts and $14 for the one t-shirt. So the total cost is $4,154. We notice that this is still not equal to $3,050. So this is how we check each step when we do guess and check method. So next what can we do? We remove one more shorts and replace it with one more t-shirt. Now we have 206 shots whose total cost is $4,120 and two t-shirts, the cost is $28. So the total is still not $3,050, but then it has reduced by $6 from the previous one. We notice each time we replace one shots by one t-shirt, the cost goes down by $6 because the cost of Shorts is $20 and the cost of t-shirt is $14. So the difference is $6. So our idea here is to reduce the total cost from $4,160 to $3,050, which means we have to reduce it by $1,110. So the total cost goes down by $6 when we replace one shorts by one t-shirt. So for the total cost to come down by $1,110, we have to replace 1110 divided by 6 is equal to 185, which means when we replace 185 shorts with 185 t-shirts, the total number of items still remains at 208 and 185 t-shirts would cost 185 times 14 is $2,590 and the remaining 208 minus 185 is equal to 23 shorts would cost 23 times $20 is $460. Now when we add the cost of the t-shirt and the shorts, we get it to be equal to $3,050, which is what is given in the question. 
So what exactly did we do? We found out how many shorts should be replaced with t-shirts so that the total number remains at 208 but the total cost comes down from 4160 to the required cost. So in this case we replace 185 t-shirts which means we started off with zero t-shirts so there is a total of 185 t-shirts that's the answer to part a of the question and the remaining 23 shots is the answer to part b of the question hope the assumption method is clear in this method hope you like this video please subscribe to this channel for more problem sums if you have a specific question that you would like to see a video on, please post it in the comment section. Thank you.